Welcome to REI Pro Talk, where real estate investors turn for the latest news, tips, and tricks from the real in the trenches pros. Tune in to hear Chris Goff, the nation's premier real estate investing powerhouse. Join up with other top pros in the investing world as they cover every topic. No fluff, no filler, no holds barred. All you need to know from start to paycheck. Broward County again. I'll just choose the absentee owner here. Or my strategy. Now, I was meaning more or less the strategy. My strategy. This is kind of... We wanted to put this in here for people that was just like, I don't even know where to start. You click by strategy. If I go to lease options, it's going to pick everything you need to know. You just need to pick a location on this one. And if I go hit search, and what we did is kind of preset some of the filters for you. You obviously can go in and, and filter this down even more. I may just only be searching for single family, so I may uncheck all of those. As I scroll down, you can see um, we need to have 20% equity, okay? You could do dollar amount, but most of the time I like to say, you know, how much equity is in this house, okay? So we really want to target very specific low equity properties. That's where you're going to find. Now, you may want to, you know, add in these prices, okay? Like mm -hmm. I said, I want to start kind of at that middle price point and go up, but... Yeah. Might target <clears throat> certain bedrooms, baths, things of that nature. A lot of people like to go to the last sold date. To me, with lease options, you know, obviously you don't want to uh, market a house that somebody just bought two months ago and, you know, you want to give it some time. So a lot of people will say more than two years. So they have owned it for at least two years at this particular point. Okay. I do like individual owned, stay away from the company owned. It's hard to send mailers and stuff to a company owned. It uh, doesn't mean that they are less likely to do the deal. It's just hard to get the material in the correct person's hands. And then I can go and apply those filters. Now, even at that number, we're still at 29,000. So you may yeah. even want to filter this down even more. Okay. Yeah. And the way that I do that is price. That is the biggest thing. So I will come back up here and I'll just, you know, you, you could do a selection from here. You can also type in a very specific number as well. So I'm going to go between four to 500. And that got me down here at the bottom. You can see almost 6,400 leads. I can still really pinpoint these because as you can see, there's a lot of properties out there. There's over... Yeah. 150 million or well, and you used uh, an example. Then you use an example of less than 30 percent, so maybe potential equity between five percent and no, with a max of 30 or something. Yeah, you could you could tweak this, you know, up as you see fit. You know, get rid of especially being in Florida, we're going to get rid of some of these HELOCs and reverse mortgages. But use these filters to your benefit. And then you can still fine tune it with school systems. You could draw multiple shapes oh, yeah. on here. As you start to zoom in, now it probably be easier. We just open this map up here. So as I start to zoom into an area, you know, use your draw tool, your schools, uh, specific neighborhoods, um, all that good stuff. So if I go to the draw and say, okay, I know this particular area, boom. Um, also want to target, uh, let's see, maybe this area here. And boom. So now I'm really starting to pinpoint exactly where I want to go. Now you go street level if you want and do this. You don't have to be so far zoomed out like I am. Once we get to one more, I'm just going to get out of this. Well, I, let me just exit off that. So I could go all the way down here and say, okay, maybe I just want a very small selection like down that street. You could do that as well. So don't think there's no leads in that particular um, area there. There's one right there. You could see that dot there. You can always pull up the information here as well. 
you want to do just do some basic due diligence here, you could do that as well. We're also going to be showing you all of the neighbors information here as well. So um, you're really looking for the ones that have the dots. Now, if I let me get rid of that other shape, you can see it turns back to purple here. Okay, so uh, utilize these filters. That's really going to pinpoint, especially if you're in an area that has a lot of leads. You're really going to have to start pinpointing. And that's where you could create multiple different campaigns. So this campaign has, you know, maybe we get it down to 200, but it's very specific because of the filters. And then you change the filters just a little bit. And now I've got another new campaign. So you may have to do multiple campaigns with this as well. Now, one Ooh. thing, um, I, I'll just point this out, Bo, is okay. let me zoom out of here real quick. And although we put in one location, you guys know you can put in multiple locations up at the search box here. Okay. But you can actually, they may not know that. So you could go up back up here and we'll just, uh, let me pick Navarre, Florida. So Navarre, Florida is way over here. <laughs> yeah. It's, you know, the Fort Lauderdale area, Brown County is way down here. So this is great for the person that's, you know, investing in multiple locations. If you ever need to change that, you can just click in here and, you know, we can get rid of one of these and select another one. So, but one of the things I wanted to share with you guys is, although this is the Broward County line, if you click search by map, it's gonna kind of remove that line to a way that you might wanna get some of the neighboring properties that are still an absentee owner, okay? So you just don't have to follow in with that boundary if you wanna just go across that boundary. Because to me, I don't care if it's in Broward County or if it's the street across from Broward County, I may want that whole area. So that's another uh, just tip for you guys is just check that search by map. Thanks for listening to REI Pro Talk. If you've ever wanted to jump into the real estate game, get started with the number one software for real estate investors on the planet, REI Pro. Start for free at www.myreipro.com.